another day, another dollar. Stepping down, I seem taller. Been here before, but not so sure. If I should open up that other door, what in my hands to make it smaller? Boy, I got it pretty nice, why let it go so easy? Comfort's first to sacrifice, I grow from the pain within me. But why do I do this? Said, why do I do it to me? Well, I was born and raised here in Maui. I uh, ended up going to boarding school at Kamehameha, seventh grade, so I was about 11 or 12 when I got sent away. And living in boarding um, with other girls in the dorm, you become like best friends with them. And so a lot of our friends would play guitar. We'd teach each other how to play guitar after school. Me and my best friend, Kimie, who also is playing music. Shout out, Kimie, what's up? Uh, we taught each other how to play guitar and we'd just jam out to Jack Johnson and Bob Marley and Nelly Furtado in our dorm rooms and play bongo and things like that. And I was always into film production. That was my thing in high school. I um, actually got a really good scholarship for Chapman University's film school. Went there for a year, but um, you know, all things happen for a reason. I, I fell in love, my first lover, before I left. And so that was always calling me back home. And I swear it was meant to be because I wrote songs about that relationship and I came back home and I realized film's not what I want to do. I want to make music. And so I just started to play a coffee shop, started to write more songs based on the things I was going through in my life, very big changes. And I don't know, I, it just kind of fell upon me, this music thing. Barista by day and I'm trying to say, I gotta keep it real like every day. Brewing that drip from the morning light. I gotta be on time, gotta be polite. 99 problem, but I switch it one. Keep slinging that coffee bean, seven to one. I'll pick up your shift on a holiday. Just drop me a dollar bill after you pay. My roots as far as performing goes absolutely started on Maui. I started working at a coffee shop in Lahaina called Livewire Cafe. They were very like brand new and so they needed some music and my friend knew that I played music. She's like, why don't you come play? And I used to be so nervous, couldn't handle playing without preparing myself. I can't say I got drunk, I was 19, but I used to have to really, I was really nervous before I started to play over there. But you know, you, you get more feedback and positive reinforcement from friends and you get more confidence and you don't have to play with all your chords spread out around you anymore. You can start memorizing them and then that turned into restaurant gigs, that turned into wedding gigs, that turned into starting to put a band together. You say it's over, then you come running right back to me. Put a leash around my neck, why don't you, baby? Got so much control of me. Uh, uh, yeah. I write songs all the time, but the ones that are showcased on this first debut album and ones that a lot of people have heard so far are absolutely about life experiences. I don't make stuff up to write about. I, I go by what really happens to me or sometimes to my friends. And lots of relationships, ups and downs, not necessarily the, the bliss of being in love. Sometimes the, the irritation of a boy that breaks your heart or like the one that's flirting with you, but then you turn the corner and he's flirting with another girl. Like I love to you know, just it's almost like you're empowered when you write the song because you feel like you it gives validation to the feelings that you're having. And so that goes for anything, not even just the love thing, but you know, struggles you're going through about where your life is headed and um, even just telling yourself to take it easy in life because you feel like you're partying a bit too much, like all those subjects of a real, you know, 22 year old chick who grew up in Hawaii and is trying to find herself, like that's what my songs are about. Endless hours and days wasted away Endless thoughts and words unsure I suggest to everybody out there, if you want to do music, you got to hustle and just do it and throw yourself out there in every possible way that you can because that's how it happened for me. I had my MySpace, um, you know, a, a, a former rep for Atlantic Records found me on MySpace. Turns out he wanted to start, um, start 
developing new artists and Hawaii was his first choice. He found me. He partnered up with my auntie Nalani of Naleo Pilemehana, who also has years of experience in the industry and plus she's my dad's sister so I knew it was um, people I could trust for sure. They started their own label and signed me to it. I am now signed with One Hawaii Music. They introduced me to a producer named Drew K in LA. He's amazing. He's worked with Steven and Damian Marley. He's worked with Madonna, Celine Dion, Sam Sparrow, all these really awesome people. And we just had to see if like our styles could work out with each other. So they flew me up there initially. We did one song together, absolutely clicked. We're like, you know, best of friends. We knew that we could make, we could vibe off each other and make really good music together. Cause having a good producer that you click with is essential. And that was something I didn't really know before. And so the second trip to LA was two months long. I quit my job before I left. I had to, you know, move all my stuff out of my house. Like this is it, this is the big move. I go and live there in Marina Del Rey for two months. 13, 14 hour days in the studio, tedious, tedious work, but we got our 12 songs done and the album is done and that's how it works, you know what I mean? You just gotta hustle. Sometimes albums take years to make, sometimes you gotta do it at the drop of a dime. You gotta strike while the iron is hot and that's actually how mine happened because you wanna get it out this year. What's next? What's next for me? The future. Oh man. I'm really excited about this album coming out. It's coming out this fall. As soon as it does, a lot of things are going to change. The next step will absolutely be to start touring. Um, the label has me set up to promote on like college back to school kind of tour thing going on. College campuses around the country are, are going to be having my CD like right there at their bookstores and things like that. So they have a lot of good things lined up and um, the distribution is amazing. That means every Borders, every Target, every Walmart pretty much is going to have my CD, iTunes. So like that's really exciting because that's something that a lot of um, Hawaii artists can't really get is the distribution that they need so it can't be heard as much. So that, I'm really thankful for that. And um, then after the touring and things, absolutely just kind of got to see what happens. I mean, I'm sure people will enjoy it see the success of it and run with it. I, I plan on making music till the day I die and playing live music is something I, I um, am going to be doing no matter what, even if it has to just be on Maui forever. So it's not over. You'll see me for sure. <laughs>